This video is brought to you by X-Rite. Color correction has probably been the hardest thing for me to learn, and I'm still making a lot of mistakes. And that's because every camera is different, and every situation is different. Now, I'd first like to show you guys how to color correct a shot using only Adobe Premiere Pro, which will have limitations and it's gonna require some work. So, after that, we're gonna take a look at the color checker video right here from x -Rite and see how we can do the exact same thing with a click of a button. Now, at all time, you can already find more information about these products right here by clicking the first link in the description below. Now, let's start with this shot right here, for instance. It doesn't look so good, but why is that? How can we tell why it doesn't look good? We don't really have a reference to which we can compare it to. Let's fire up Adobe Premiere Pro and see if there are tools that can help us to figure out what's wrong with the shots. Now, for starters, I'm going to go to the menu, window, and from here select Lumetri Scopes. Now, these tools take measurements from our shot and display that onto a graphic. And the two that we're interested in are the waveform and the vector scope YUV. We can now use Lumetri to alter the colors and levels, look at the scopes, and perform a color correction. Now, there's one color or level which we always know the value from, which is white. If we draw a mask around an object that should be white, we can see on our vector scope what the actual color is. It points towards yellow-red in this case. Also, when you change the waveform type to RGB, you will notice that the three values are separated. So, what I'm gonna do is change my temperature and tint slider from Lumetri, and I will try to get the highlights from the vector scope in the middle, and the RGB values in the waveform on top of each other. And if that's the case, the white is white. And if we now turn off the mask, your shot will be color corrected. Or at least the whites. An issue that occurs now is that your white might be corrected, but the other levels on your shot do not. To show exactly what's going on here, I'm going to take out my color checker video. Now, x right actually has various sizes. This one right here is the color checker passport video. You also have the normal color checker video and also a super large one there in the back, which is the x right color checker video XL. <laughs> now, the reason why you got different sizes is because you need the color checker video in detail in your shot. So if you're taking a long shot and someone in the distance has to hold one, it is best to take out the color checker video XL. And if you're shooting a close-up, it is best to use the color checker passport video. Now, the colors found on these shots right here are reference colors and levels. What you simply do is take a shot of it and bring it inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, doing the same thing as before, I draw a mask around the white area on the color checker video and change my white balance. My white now looks good, but if I move my mask over to the first gray palette, I notice that it's not corrected in the vector scope. Everything that shouldn't contain colors like black, gray, and white should not have a deviation from that center point. The only difference that they have is the exposure level, which can be seen in the waveform. Now, if we change the white balance on the gray, of course, that will alter the white again. What's happening is that we're getting color shifts over the various levels. So, what I'm gonna do now is jump into the HSL secondary tab. From here, we can make a selection and only perform a color correction on that selection. So I'm going to say select all of the colors for you, then select the entire saturation spectrum, and finally is the lightness. Here you only want to select those gray areas. The arrow on the bottom allows you to feather your selection. Now simply turn on your mask again and make sure that it sits on your gray bar and adjust the white balance using the controls under the HSL secondary. If your absolute blacks are still off, then you're going to have to repeat this by adding a new Lumetri effect and correcting for the blacks. All right, so this is how you correct a shot using Lumetri. And now I'd like to introduce you to the real power of the color checker video. We're gonna run it through some software. Now, DaVinci Resolve actually has such a software built in. Premiere Pro doesn't, so we're going to have to work with a third-party program called 3D LUT Creator. Unfortunately, it's not free, but if you like to experiment more with color correction and grading, then it's definitely worth since this little program can do a million things that Premiere Pro's Lumetri can't. But that's for a different story. They actually have a bunch of tutorials on their website if you'd like to check it out. And if you wish to purchase the software after you've taken the free trial, of course, then please do so through the affiliate link in the description below as that helps to support the channel. Basically, what you do is load a still frame from your clip into that program. Then click on the color chart grid tool 
and then from your drop down menu in the top, select the color checker video that you have. Then move the color points over the colors in your clip so that they match up. When that sits in place, you hit match and bang, you've got a perfect shot. You can now go ahead and save this as a 3D LUT. Then inside Adobe Premiere Pro, we can load this LUT into Lumetri. What's interesting now is that we can further tweak the exposures and contrasts without having a white balance shift. And this is one of the hundreds of things that you can do with an x -Rite Color Checker video and the 3D LUT Creator program. I really hope that you've learned something new today. Thank you, x -Rite, for the support. Again, guys, if you would like to learn more about these products right here, then make sure to click that first link in the description below. Thank you again so much for watching, and as always, stay creative. Imagine, guys, you're running around on set, and you got one of these things here in your back pocket. You're the camera guy, and you're just holding this everywhere. That makes you, oh wait, or you have one of these here in your back pocket. That makes you like uh, a total geek. <laughs>